Hello, then. That's what they say in England, right? Hello, then, mate. Sorry, so tired. Uh, see what you think. I uh, didn't upload any videos today um, because uh, it took me a little over 11 hours to make these two alligator belts. I ended up cutting the hell out of my hand in the process. It's still bleeding pretty good. You know, this is what happens when you get exhausted and you slip with a sharp tool. Yeah. Luckily, it hit my hand and that didn't uh, impact uh, the belts at all. Um, I did a triple coat of Atom Wax on uh, both of these belts. That's this stuff, by the way. It's a leather balm Atom Wax. It gives it that really bright sheen. You can see this is a navy blue uh, alligator belt custom made for somebody. Here we go. It's nice and shiny, eh? Tell me what you think. This person wanted a brass buckle. Yep. I have uh, my uh, Maker's Mark back there. And uh, this one is a black gator belt. Tell me what you think. Yeah, it took a little over 11 hours to make uh, both of these belts. Um, it actually uh, took an additional hour plus to rub in three coats on both sides of atom wax. And uh, looks almost plastic, it's so shiny. Mm-hmm. Genuine American alligator. So, just, just seeing what you think. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't use this stuff. It's 277. Use 138 thread to sew these up. So they're made extremely tough. I hope the folks that have them coming like it. I can't believe I've actually, I brought back uh, 20 plus gator hides from Florida and I've actually used up 16 gator hides. It's kind of unbelievable. I, uh, I still have a couple of navy blue pieces. These are for making wallets. Navy blue alligator. And I still have to get out a black gator wa uh, wallet and a uh, golden brown gator wallet. Can't use these parts. There's actually bone underneath these ridges. But, uh, anyway, if I sound exhausted, I apologize. It's because I'm extremely exhausted. So tell me what you think. I wanted to uh, give it that luxurious shine. It's also to a protectant. It's literally atomized wax and a special solution for leather. You rub it in wet with a daba. Yeah. Yep. Rub it in wet with a daba. You let it dry and then you buff it. Kind of like a you're uh, waxing your car, you know, and you're like you want to give it that really luxurious shine. You give it a second or third coat of wax. Except this is for leather. It's like a car wax job for your leather goods. Especially if they're good leather goods. Or in this case, expensive alligator. So these are made to last and they're made tough as hell. So, God, they take forever to make. You know, you wouldn't think, I looked up, <laughs> uh, I thought about making a, an alligator jacket, not for anybody in particular, but, um, I was thinking about getting like a dress form, which is an adjustable dress form. And I looked up what an alligator jacket goes for, and like a cheap one, I kid you not, a cheap one is uh, fourteen to $20,000 for an alligator jacket. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen anybody wear an alligator jacket, but they exist. I looked up a Burberry, I think I said you pronounced it, Burberry alligator jacket. And a Burberry alligator jacket, and it was a nice, uh, it was a skinny guy wearing it in the ninety-five thousand dollars. Ninety-five. I was like, well, you know, for ninety-five thousand dollars, I'll definitely make. Of course, I'm not Burberry, right? My alligator jacket would actually be made better than the Burberry one. And so, tell me what you think. These turned out really nice. And I used up on both these belts. I used up like three quarters of a bottle of atom wax very nice at least i think so sewed them of course yep 
Well, there you go, folks. Thanks for watching.